Mikiro's PBO project setup. All right. The reason we use Mikiro's PBO project and not add on breaker, I mean builder, is because it will provide detailed errors when we compile our map or asset for Daisy gameplay. Now, this information is crucial to 100% trouble-free gameplay when you start adding lots of custom mods or maps, etc. Now, the setup procedure. When you install the Mikiro's all-in-one installer earlier in this tutorial, it also installed a PBO project as well. If you don't have an icon on your desktop, go to search bar and type PBO project, look for the icon, right click on it and choose pin to start to make it easy to find. Now, double click on that icon. It will open with a DOS box and a program window like such. To begin, minimize the DOS box. Now you will see the main EXE program. Don't worry if the source folder looks different to mine. That's okay. Now click the setup button. A window will appear like the following. The default settings in X exclude from PBO and minus B exclusions generally will be fine. So just leave them as is or click restore if you've changed them for some reason. I will give you below what the defaults are just in case you need them. Next, in the text editor, add the following. This will make it easier using the previously installed Notepad++ software. For the moment, leave all the other settings as you can see them in my video. Pause the video now if you wish to compare your screen to mine. And when you're finished, click OK to get back to the original screen. Welcome back. Verify they match my setup and you should be ready to go with Mikiro's PBO project. We will compress some files in the next tutorial. So having this installed now is very important. Well, that is the setup and checked. I'll see you in the next video.